Oh! Hello there, boys and girls. I didn't quite see you there. <laughs> you know, amid all the hustle and bustle of the holidays, I think sometimes we lose sight of what matters most. The reason for this season, talking about the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the fact that it almost never happened at all. We all know the story. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, an evil king named Darth Herod lived in Mordor at the summit of Mount Doom, far above the pleasant town of Bethlehem. Herod had it all, except what he wanted most, a ring, because he was single and lonely. One night, Herod sensed the presence of a ring bearer, one Joseph Skywalker, rightful king of Westeros and heir to the throne of Gondor. <laughs> but what Herod didn't know is that Joseph's wife, Mary Targaryen, was with child. We all know what happened next. Herod dispatches three wise Jedi to find the ring of power, but the wisest Jedi of all, Gandalf the Grey <laughs> disobeys Darth Herod, warns Mary and Joseph, and narrowly escapes the country by following a bright evening star. Wait a minute. That's no star. That's a space station. <laughs> now Gandalf is dead. <laughs> anyway, Mary and Joseph arrive safely in Mordor, but there's no room at the inn, so they get drunk and pass out in the stable. That night, they are awoken by the sound of sleigh bells and footsteps on the roof. Could it be? Why, yes it was. For what should come rolling down the chimney <laughs> but a goddamn flash grenade? Romans! <laughs> Quick as a flash, Joseph throws himself between his wife and the bomb, shielding her from the blast. Mary is safe, but Joseph is badly injured. He's not going to make it. That's when the hay caught fire. Smoke filled the room. <laughs> And Mary's lungs. <laughs> As she lay dying, she peered through the flames and saw heaven open. And behold, a rider on a white horse. It's Gandalf! <laughs> and, he's, and he's white now, I guess. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mary blacks out. Cut to the next morning. The one ring is gone. Joseph is dead. And so is the Roman garrison, for you see, garrison means a group of soldiers. <laughs> it really does. It's, it's vocabulary fact for you. A crowd gathers. Through the smoke and ash, they see a figure of a woman, unharmed, cradling her baby. She stands and faces them. Who is this woman, they ask? I am Mary Theotokos of the House Targaryen, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Realm, Breaker of Chains, and Our Lady of the Seven Kingdoms. Now, where are my dragons? You guys know where the dragons are. Say it with me. Burning Rome to the fucking ground. <laughs> it's over before it began. The city is sacked. Lots of people die. It's really sad. <laughs> Meanwhile, high above the smoldering city, Emperor Nero watches from the Death Star. <laughs> now in possession of the Ring of Power, he gives the order to destroy Earth, when who should appear behind him? But Darth Herod, Joseph's real father. <laughs> he picks up the Emperor, throws him and the Ring of Power down the shaft of the Death Star, the space station explodes, taking everyone with it. And thus the ancient prophecy was fulfilled, bringing balance to the Force, and peace and goodwill to Middle-earth. Thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned for April for part two, Pontius Pilate of the Caribbean. <laughs>